Hi guys, welcome back to another video, and I have found another TV to do a teardown of. You can see I have a 2x4 holding it up, because the stand won't even hold the TV up. I believe this is a 50 inch Sony TV. This is a very basic, cheap TV. Very low resolution, very basic TV. It doesn't have very many inputs or anything. Made in 2013, 146 watt. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there are a lot of bad cracks in this TV. Now this TV looks like it's been outside for a long time. A lot of the connectors on the back are rusted. And, yeah, it's all muddy. Hopefully the electronics are intact. Okay, I'm going to start by taking off this awful stand. I don't know how they designed this thing to be able to hold up a TV. It's not sturdy at all. With this stand, the TV just wants to tip over. Like, maybe it was meant to be screwed on to a TV stand or something. I don't know how else you would use one of these. Okay, I'm gonna start taking off the screws for the back panel. Okay, I'm just gonna take off this cord. I'm not sure why, but all the TVs these days seem to have these kind of cord connections where it plugs into the power supply board there. Wow, there's not much there. Okay, here's our power supply. You can see the primary side and the secondary side of the power supply. There's your output from the power supply to the motherboard and the rest of the components. And another power output here that I think goes into the display. Okay, here's the power supply board. You can see there's not actually too much on here. It's a fairly simple primary and secondary switching power supply. Oh, that's interesting. Look at the little spark guides. That's weird. And on the other side of that, that's where the mains come in. That might be for surge protections or something. I'm not too sure. Okay, here's the speaker. Oh, it's not even screwed in. There's the connector. Let's see, it's just a cheap little speaker. Doesn't even really have a tweeter. Could have easily put a tweeter in right there. But I guess not since it's such a cheap TV. Okay, here's the speaker. You can see it's got a square magnet. That's just so it takes up less space in the TV. It's got a oval voice coil, and this is something that's kind of weird. The terminals are on each side, which is kind of weird. I'm sure that's to save space, too, so they can make the little enclosure slimmer. You can see, it's got a tiny little port, too. It's pretty interesting. Okay, let's take off the other speaker. And again, no screws whatsoever. Here's the motherboard here. You can see all the connectors are all rusted and oxidized, which is another sign that this TV has been outside for a long time. So here's your input from the power supply. You have all your different supply voltages. Now here you have your decoded video output. This goes down here to this LCD vertical and horizontal control board. This would take the decoded signal from the image processor somewhere on this board and it would continue to decode the data and route it through these two cables to the display. You can see these are the only two little 
cables that go to the display. And an HDTV would have a whole lot more connectors going to the display. Okay, let's take off this motherboard. So this is kind of where there's like a micro USB connector here. It must be some kind of USB interface or something. Okay, let's take off this. I think this is ceramic actually. Yeah, that's ceramic. Ceramic heatsink, how about that? Never seen a heatsink made out of ceramic before. Ooh. There's our image processor. Okay, so right here is the main CPU. Now here is the, is the image processor and decoder. You can see it has some flash RAM too. This is neat. You can see the HDMI controller here, which goes to the four HDMI ports and then it goes to the CPU and digital image processor. You can see there's actually a thermal pad here for the bottom of the image processor. Okay, I'm going to take off this little button assembly here. You can see this is where the mini USB connector goes. Here's the little button module. You can see there's two USB connectors here. That's probably what connects to this micro USB which connected to the motherboard. Okay, let's take a look down here at this vertical and horizontal control board. Okay, here's the board. You can see here, this is the input from the image processor and decoder. This chip here processes the data coming in, and it controls the vertical and horizontal display panels. So one's for the for the vertical and one's for the horizontal. And that's all controlled by this chip right here. Okay, you can see here, these are the two mounting brackets for the TV stand. They're not that heavy duty because it's not that heavy of a TV. Okay, let's take off this remote control receiver thing. Oh, it looks like there's a screw here. Okay, so the screw comes out and this comes off. Wow, there's a big, pretty big wiring harness goes to this module here. Let's just unplug that connector. This must be something more than just the remote control receiver. There's got to be more in here with the wiring harness that big. Okay, now that comes off here. It's got the Sony logo. Oh, it looks like there's a lot of, a lot of stuff crammed in there. Oh, there's some clips here. Now this comes out. You can see there's a few circuit boards in here. Okay, here's the boards. It's just held together with some board to board connectors. I think this is the Wi Fi module. And then over here is another module. I'm not sure what it is. It might be like another wireless feature. Or it might even be like a Bluetooth or something. Then here's the little board that those board to board connectors connect to. Then there's another small circuit board in here. Oh and then this here is the infrared receiver. You can see this little thing here with the little black dot. It's a little infrared receiver for the remote control. 
Now it looks like this whole bottom metal piece comes off, so I'm going to try and take that off. Okay, so I've unscrewed this bracket here. You can see there is the vertical board here. Now there's another one just like it over here too. Now, this is all for the vertical control. I don't know how the horizontal control would work. Because I thought one of these went to the horizontal and one of these went to the vertical, but both of them go to the vertical control. Okay, on the side here, there are these little brackets that hold the LCD screen assembly to the outside bezel. So I'm gonna take all these off. Okay, I'm gonna lift this up and take the outer bezel off. Okay, here's the big aluminum outer bezel, and this just kind of was holding the whole screen together so all the layers are starting to come apart. So if you look here, this is the LCD panel. You can see it's all cracked up. Oh, what the heck? Okay, I think this has a backlight in it. So let's take a look at the backlight in here. So these are like your diffusing panels that diffuse the light. Okay, it looks like this bezel here is on top of the backlight. So I'm gonna go around and try and pop it off. This is coming off now. Okay, I've got the last little bit of the bezel off. Pretty sure that may not have been acrylic. You can see here's the backlight and then the white panel behind it. Oh, back here we have some wiring for the backlight. You can, this is where it came through from the power supply here. Let's see, it runs down here. Then there's a LED light strip all along the bottom of this edge here. And you can see there is a aluminum heat sink here too. So it's got a heat sink because that uh, LED light bar produces heat. I'm gonna try and take this off. Okay, here's the heat sink with the LED light strips in it. See the little LEDs in there? It goes all along the bottom of this heat sink. And this would be the backlight. It would go into the backlight panel and light up the whole screen. Okay, so that's about it for this cheap Sony TV. It was very interesting taking it apart. I've seen some things that I've never seen before inside of a TV. If you want to see a more detailed and in-depth teardown, check out my Plasma TV video teardown. I go into great detail about how that TV works and I explain everything very thoroughly. So, check that video out please.